You've put everything in the same rubbish bag. I've put rubbish in the rubbish bag. It isn't even empty. You're supposed to separate it. Oh, Eric. Was this supposed to be for? Oh, what have you done? Calm down. No! I think he's going to be mad enough that I let you stay. Never mind, trash the place. It's not trashed. Help me move these drawers, see if they're missing bits behind. Hey, hey, be careful, be careful. It's not noticeable anyway. Nobody would spot it. Oh, look, somewhere else for the bin bag. I want to. What's up to the light? Great. It were him. Me? Well, it wasn't me. <laughs> right, I've got super glue back at the office. We'll put a low wattage bulb in and no one will ever know. Oh, right, we'll put a bulb in. So you're on our side now, are you? After the way he slides us off to Eileen. It was a misunderstanding. Well, if you think knocking the house into shape so we're not chucked out, I'll get you forgiven. <sighs> We'd be dead right. Whoa. Don't get that super glue on your fingers. My mate Den was helping hold a bit of coal, and at the pub she cleans that. Spent the next three days glued to the decorator. <laughs> That's what she told his missus, anyway. Oh, flip. Yeah, look, get it off! Oh, you... Ah, yeah! I told you, you should just let it be and fess up. Helpful, Seb. I'm bleeding here. Shift that before he wrecks that and all. Mum! I'll sort it out. Help me shift this. What the...? Eileen. Are you stripping the place? No. No. Oh, uh, you're on, Millie. It's a good flaming job. I can't believe you let her rob me. Rob you? They weren't. So then where's my clock? It's in there, so it doesn't get broke. Don't throw her out, please. You are that close to following her out the door. I know you've got a blind spot when it comes to your mother. Seb, come and help me with my rucksack. She needs stability for the twins. Seb! Look, this is my fault. I made everything they do sound dodgy. I told you to ignore what I said on the phone about her arrest. She's been a total hero. How has she got you to cover for her? Are you in a... No, we're not in... Why are you bleeding? Oh, what, so she's torturing me now, is she, to make me back her up? I can't believe you've been so stupid not to know what was going on. I can't believe you can't believe he's that stupid. How long have you known him? Long enough. Stupid enough to get glass stuck to his finger. Stupid enough to get engaged to Tracy Barlow. And from what Liz says, it's not even the first time. I'll be. You're engaged to Tracy? Well... Yes or no? Um, I might be. <sighs> um, Amy can't come, but she said if you look at any social media of any of her friends, they're all going on about how Abby from the garage busted Mr Fitzgerald. So you asked Amy to come and she flat out refused. She's busy. Mm. Takes after her mother, who you'd be bonkers to marry again. I take it Liz doesn't approve, because she's not mentioned it when she's chatted on the phone to me. Mm, Mum's worse than you. She reckons I'm only marrying her because I don't know what to say no. Oh, so it is Tracy's idea. Right, I'll have a free cab, since this is your fault. Don't you dare, Steve. Whoa, we've got no one on switch. Fine. I'll get the bus. Tell Seb I'll be at the hostel. If there's a bed. See? Hostel, where she's going to meet all her old friends, get back on the drugs, lose access to her kids, overdose in a gutter, in the rain, people just strolling by, ignoring the woman. All right, Mr Doom, it's not as simple as just letting her stay. Why not? Because I'm not going back to Bristol. Well, not because of me and Tracy. No. <sighs> Nicola doesn't need me. She pretends that she does, so I feel useful with Zach, but she doesn't. Bristol's full of strangers. Everyone I care about's here. I can't believe what I've missed. Well, even if you do stay, it doesn't mean that Seb and Abby can't. There used to be about 40 people keeping in your house. There was uh, Sean, Todd, Jason, boyfriends, girlfriends. You never forgive yourself if anything happened to Abby. Imagine Seb having to identify a body. Dead. All right. Fine. Just don't tell her yet. I want her to think it's a no, then at least she might be grateful and behave. Great. Yeah, and you need to disengage with Tracy. What? You heard me. This is a joke, right? Really? Right, how's this? Hi, Abby. Here's the deal. You can stay at mine under the following conditions that A, 
house is kept pristine, and B... E is this a text to Abby? Yeah. Only you said we were going there now, so I thought I could let her know now. What, you've already texted her? I've... Bus had only gone one stop. Eileen, you're awesome. Huh. We should have a party tonight to celebrate. No. To your own, then. Chips and tinnies on me. 